Guys, we are in Mr. David Apuzo's game room. You have done quite the job, my good man. So where, where we are right now is in your basement, correct? Yes. So he has changed or converted a basement into uh, just a video game paradise. As you guys can see, how long how long have you been down here hanging out in the the game room basement? Uh, we started building it during COVID. Well, right before COVID, and then we finished it right when COVID hit. Okay, so we're talking about roughly three ish years that you've been down here. Uh, I could spend a lot of time down here working, man. This is yeah. awesome because this doubles as your office. This is my office as well. Can you yeah, guys look at this? I'm just gonna give you a look. Look, can you imagine working down here all day? Uh, yeah, this is. I can get used to this right here. Great job, my good man. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna run through this whole office and show you all the little details in this place. All right, you guide me. I want to start I, over. I, I want to start over here. Okay. But I want you to talk to me about what we're looking at. So right when we walk in. Yes. So right when we walk inside, we've got uh, our Nintendo Power and magazine rack. Okay. Nintendo. Are you were you a big Nintendo Power guy? As I kid? was. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I see. I did have a subscription. I do see issue number one. And there's a uh, five dollar price tag. Yep. Did you get that for five? Yeah, I did. That's twice the power for still fifteen bucks. Wow! Call now. Move on in, and we have a little uh, the Le you know the Lego set. Okay. And then the special edition and the master edition of uh, Breath of the Wild. And this one's still sealed. I will say what he's done too is like, it is meticulously curated. Like each section just looks so good, how it's all put together. I mean, like, look at this. You got the turtle section all down here, both. You got Bebop and Rock City, and then the Rockin' Turtles. Did you go, did you go to the concerts when you were a kid? I didn't go to the concerts, but that reminds me I have something to show you. This is from my childhood though. Oh, <gasps> dude. So this is the, I saved everything as a kid. He seriously saved everything. Did Most of this collection, a lot of the, like a good majority of this collection is from your childhood, from childhood. which is so cool. So this is what you got from uh, Pizza Hut. Yep. And then inside. So I I have a lot of the, uh, what you're probably about to show me, I actually have some of this. There's like a folder, right? Uh, I think it's Or is it like a, a poster? Mm. Yeah, so it's a book that turns into the poster. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I've actually been on the hunt for this bag forever. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I want to I want to make a um, coming map. out of their shells tour museum piece because mm. I'm going to switch out those every couple months. Nice. And this is one of them that I wanted to put in there. That's so Still cool. Got the mask on the look back. how clean it is, guys. OK, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. This will there's a lot to look at, guys. So you got that. Here's those two those two pieces we were talking about earlier. All of these newer turtle figures, which are Amazing! You're moving down to some Zelda pieces. All the lights everywhere. It's a, it doesn't look cluttered, which is probably a huge. I would think a compliment. It's like you got a lot in here, but it doesn't look. It For doesn't a look small too cluttered. Space, yeah, that was that was probably the biggest thing is just utilizing the space as best I could. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Mr. David Apuzo is a professional photographer. Go check out his work. We have some CIB NES games over here. He has mm -hmm. got he's got some NES games over here that I want to look at because you said you're not attached to some of them. Yes. Correct. And I'm going for a complete set. He's like, I mean, I would sell you something like that. Mm. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Okay, so we've got some great CIB games. Are a lot of these the ones that you had from it as a kid? or the So these are the ones that I'm most nostalgic for as a kid. Okay. Um, and also the ones that I had growing up. Okay. So I had Little Mermaid, Jaws, WrestleMania, uh, you know, Zelda, Mario 2, Mario 3. Yeah, those are, those are never leaving the club. No, okay. no, no. You could, uh, if you wanted to, throw this one away. It's worthless. I've heard that this is going to be thrown away. <laughs> All right. Let's so this is my in. my uh, Ghostbusters shrine. I'm a big Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is my favorite movie of all time. Okay. So this is David's Ghostbusters shrine, and uh, lots of stuff in here. You have many, many VHS of Ghostbusters. Check this out. Ready, guys? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Already kind of peeked at this. Are these all just different like variants and stuff? Or yeah, covers? yeah, yeah. So these are like this is like the original. Where is it? So like this is the side flap. Stop it. Yep. So that's the original printing. Uh, but I need the side flap version <laughs> for my complete collection. Exactly. <laughs> so that's cool. And then he's got all these two. Look at this, guys. It's curated so nicely. You got them all. Ooh, 
you go grab the cool wizard. Oh, yeah. So I was talking about the wizard. Uh, I mean, just love the movie. I've always wanted it on Laserdisc, and I cannot find it on Laserdisc. He's like, well, have you ever seen it on... Betamax. Betamax. What's hilarious, Betamax. What's hilarious about this, so if you don't know what Betamax is, basically like a smaller VHS. Um, but this is still the VHS box. Yes. They just have a little like insert. It's the way they used to do Betamax, I guess, to save money. So okay. they would do them in VHS cases and then just put little inserts in them. But this is the... And then you can see like so it's cool. not, you know, it's a little yeah. smaller than a VHS. You, you and sell, it's clean. You selling that? Really clean. I'm not selling. That. <laughs> oh no! No! You're too late, my one's boring. You're gonna have to start over, Jimmy. Just stay calm, okay? Stay calm. So this is his again VHS wall. I love this. He's got all these, all the VHS in there. They're like I'm feeling like I'm, I'm traveling back to the late '80s, the early '90s. Ooh, ooh, the Christmas special, rip. Paul Rubens. I am the luckiest boy in the world. So it would not be a game room tour without a CRT. Beautiful CRT. Got a Toshiba over here. Now, I am, I'm gonna say, you're, we're kinda on the ground down here. How often is this being used? Your daughter, uh, your so daughter maybe? Does your daughter use this? Not yet. Okay. Uh, although she has played a couple of the Original Nintendo games, but sometimes I'll, you know, I'll just sit in my game chair and. Oh yeah, that's true. You can probably do that. Yeah. Oh, this too, dude. Oh man, look at the. Is this a vin vintage? Yeah. And then the, the, I'm just on the ground looking at stuff now. The <laughs> Chicago Bulls trash can. I love that. All right, let's get up. Let's get up. Move, move me over to this to this sure. area. So yeah, so NBA Jam uh, was one of my favorite games I growing been. up. I actually won uh, the Retro Games Plus uh, yeah, tournament? South Norwalk tournament. Um, <laughs> what? Russ has a video on it, Heck but yeah. Uh, yeah, I won the tournament for that. Uh, brought my own controller from when I was a kid and I used to play. So Who, that was who's cool. your team? Charlotte Hornets. Okay. So, and then I also got my. NBA Jam Shrine, get a Shrine over there. Wait, Luis. what is this back here? This is my uh, Cool as Ice movie poster. Uh, can I be honest and tell you that I've never even heard of that movie? What? What is that? Cool as Ice? I just know him from where is it? From the Turtles. <laughs> where is? Oh, right there, right there, yeah. in the middle. What's it, he do? It's What's his it about? Movie. <laughs> what, it's, yeah. what, what is it about? What did he do? Let's read the. Uh, oh, here you go. When a girl has a heart of stone, there's only one way to melt it. Just add ice. Vanilla ice is going to take an uncool world I'm the teacher, man, the and chill it to the bone. Okay, uh, moving on. Look at all of. You guys have to get the drinks. You gotta have a, gotta have a fridge. Um, and then this this sign is pretty dope. There's a guy that makes these signs. We don't. Does he still make them? Do you know? I believe so. These signs are really dope. He um, basically, th if this was original, what's the original ones called? It would be embossed. Yes. Yeah. And they're like thousands and thousands. He actually makes these, and you know, at a tenth of the price, and they look they look sweet to have in a game room. And then moving over to the moving TMNT. Over, yeah. You can't if you're gonna do the arcade one ups. I always say you gotta go NBA Jam. Yeah. Team and T and Simpsons. I feel like those are the three you I, have I, to Those do. are the three that I said that I wanted, although I was a little disappointed with the quality of the Simpsons one, so I did not get it. Oh, okay. The volume's not as loud. Mm. Uh, the the well, bowling this one, is not, uh, this one doesn't is, play well. This one is beautiful, and I, I, I always thought it'd probably be kind of tough to have four people around it. I think it's doable. It's, it's okay, we've, it's doable. we've done it, we've done it. It's beautiful, we got Turtles in Time yeah. right there, and then let's move over here, let's move over here. You got yeah. a bunch. Gosh, you got so much. Look, look at this corner. This little nook this is, is a just museum. completely museum. packed with stuff. Okay, I know I'm skipping. These are original carded? These are all original carded, yep. Ten backs? Uh, yep. Ten backs, if you guys don't know. You can take one off. Take this off. The original ones have ten figures on the back, hence why they call it a ten back, and that's how you know if they're like the original ones. You got more over here. So I sold most most of the ones that I had, okay. but I kept the ones that uh, were most nostalgic for me. Okay, and then as you guys can see again, how he's kind of like putting things together. He's got his little Stranger T or Stranger Things TVs. What you little, got? What you got? Little son that Riff might be a little jealous of. Oh, let me move this. 
That's in my that's in my top five favorite NES games. This is a sealed no <laughs> River Wait, City Ransom. Where'd you get this? I got this off of eBay years ago. Okay, I, I felt like maybe I was with you. No, this was okay. years ago. Wow. So I got that. It has a little bit of a you know opening on the plastic, but guys, if you've never played River City Ransom, one of, this was my favorite game growing I, up. I played it so much, so much. As Me a and Riff have that in common. Oh, um, NES games! How I want to look at you and. See if I need any. Guys, so these actually go deep back. So oh, like they're all oh, stacked. Oh, okay. So there's three rows back, three high or two high. Yes. So we'll, we'll we could dive into those. I'm later. only I'm 36 away. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna I happen. Know but I know I'm trying. I know I have one for you. Is it Paperboy? Paperboy two. Paperboy two. I know I have one for you. Paperboy two. Yeah. And then here's the C, uh, the um, the inbox. Uh, Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time, CIB, mm -hmm. close to his Turtles in Time cabinet, and then a wall of Switch games. So many Switch games, things falling in the back. Yeah. Ooh, you got some good ones, bro. Yeah, these are the, the bigger ones. Bigger all ones. the Mega Mans. All the Mega Mans, all the way down. Mighty Final Fight. Look at all, all these are signed by like, this was the artist for this one. This was the artist yeah. for this one. What was this the one? The creator Eastman. of the Turtles. Kevin and Eastman. then the artist of Rampage as well. And then uh, right here, of course, is the the OG. What is this? The OG. What the heck? How's he got all this stuff? I need this This suit. is proof that me and Aaron go back. Yeah, that is old. So if We're you guys don't know, school. NES Pursuit is Pixel Game Squad's original channel. Yeah. Oh, this is a, a, this is a random tournament. <laughs> Are you in so many tournament fighters today? Oh, wow. Uh, we'll we'll talk see. About okay, that. okay. All right, we're moving, guys. We're going. We're going. Okay, so uh, this is why I saw this earlier. Again, yeah. Michael Jordan, huge fan. Mm -hmm. Check it out. He's got some. This Skybox card. I already know what it is. The Skybox card behind it. I got some memories with me. And just. Oh. That's a nine. There's a lot. All right, there's so much to look at right here. But I have to go over to this because he already told me. David already told me. I was like, what is up with this? Look at this Toys R Us vest, but that's not the best part. The best part is this was yours. This you... was mine when I worked at Toys R Us. Look, guys, he's not lying. He's not lying. Dude, will you sell me a Super Nintendo for like... <laughs> oh, no, when I was bucks? there, let's check this out. With the N64 uh, oh, sticker. Oh, he's the coolest guy around. <laughs> he's the coolest guy. More games, more toys. So this this is probably I'm not gonna lie this yeah. is probably my favorite of what I've seen in here because okay. this is how my mind works my mind works with craziness but like there's cohesion in the in the craziness like look at all the Game Boys all the boxes and then all the figures but the figures don't look like super like just misplaced they look like they're there, there's a method in your in your head with what you're doing. Is this the DVDs? Yes. I've always wanted that. That's a whole DVD set of the, the, original, the original TMNT, and it came in the party wagon. So you need, the only thing I think that I've seen that you don't have that I have is the little candy one. I need the candy one. The candy, they make, yeah. they make a little candy That's the only, dish I, one. I the oh, one. I love it. You, are I you, it. Are you familiar it, with it, this? It. No, what is that? The white knuckle scoring. I don't know what this is. So this is official Nintendo. What? And it's basically just a soundtrack, so it got the everything on there. But look, it's got like look at the, it's an original from like, Crosby, Stills and Nash is on here. This is from like the nineties, ninety one. I have never seen this. So I have my original that's in there, and then this is I I bought this one sealed, and then this is my original. Uh, I had the CD as well. What? Oh, and don't forget that this is his original pod. <laughs> that's set. my original pod. Set. All right, hit me with this corner. This corner's a little bit different than what we've been seeing. Yeah. What do we got over here? What do we got over here? So this is just, <laughs> this is this is only really t taken shape in the past few months because I, I have so much overstock yeah. that I need to find a place for He has like a whole other basement area over there full of stuff too, but it's like, you know, that's not what do I do with out, it? right? Yeah, so I picked up this from Retro World Expo last year. Okay. And then just kind of stack some stuff up. I got my Tears of the Kingdom collector's edition, some limited run game stuff. So over here. Oh, we're going over here again? Back over here. Uh oh. Kind of the holy grail. <laughs> oh, man. So this is a TMNT Tournament Fighters blockbuster rental. And, it's in and this is like when you were able to buy it. 
and then it's got all the stuff on it. It's got Open the it now. Yeah. I want to see it. Insert Zelda music. Uh, it comes with the manual. Uh, I'm still missing this one, guys. It comes with the cart. And if you look on the back of the cart, I oh, know it. You better say it. Yeah. It's got the serial number that matches the case. Bodacious! Yeah. Hey, can you come back over here and show me what this is? Yeah. Because I don't know if this is a real thing. What is this right here? What the heck, dude? <laughs> is this a wrestling buddy? This is uh, the Mario wrestling buddy from Brothers Ghidorah. <laughs> and I found these guys on uh, Instagram and they make wrestling buddies. They make these new wrestling buddies. Uh, they hand make them. I have also my pet monster and they didn't have, I, I messaged them. I said, you have a, a Mario? And uh, they said, we, we've never made a Mario. I was like, well, can make I me one. commission you to make one? And there said, it is. Sure. So as far as I know, this is the only one that exists. And it's even got his, and then they asked me, they said, do you want both front and back? And I said, no, put the back of him on the back. So it's got the back of Mario. And he's like, it's all ripped. Look at that, that's awesome. Yeah, so a little wrestling buddy Mario. What's going on? Oh, nothing, Sarge. <laughs> Big Boss Man and Jake the Snake Roberts, the newest WWF wrestling buddies from Tonga, each sold separately. Yeah, there's a lot of masks around here. I even saw a mask, a mask up there, uh, upstairs. You had a Yoshi one, I think it was your daughter's. Yes. Look at all these masks. And then he said that all of these are most all- of Most of these ones are vinyls, are, but they're like uh, oh, video Oh wait, game. maybe it's down this one. What I is, think it's down this this row. All video game vinyl? So these are these are the vinyl video oh, okay, game Oh, okay, okay. And there's these a couple are. of them up here. So like Scott Pilgrim, the original oh, Japanese oh my gosh. Nintendo. This was re-released. Re oh, that's dope. Yeah. That is dope. So this this has the original uh, level one music. But then, oh yeah, here here's this one. This one is real sweet. DuckTales NES. What the heck? Yeah. And this is a re-release? I don't know when this is a re-release. I mean, I, I think it only came out once. Oh my gosh, look, he's got Nintendo controller over there on the money. Money and Nintendo, I like those two things. And this is more like his, mo I'm guessing more your like modern station, right? Yeah, so, Switch, so basically Wii U. this right here though, is a modded um, modern SNES. SNES. Okay. So it has every system on there. Okay. So it has Genesis Master System. Yeah. Game Boy. It's crazy that they can, yeah. they can do that on that small so, system. So it, it fires right up and I can just play whatever I want. I don't have to pull out all the old systems. Yeah. So guys, as you can see, you can make a small space work, man. This is a basement converted. You built it out, right? Yeah, you so it we, we built it, um, like I said, right before COVID. Okay. Finished right before, and then this was basically my COVID project. Yeah, you're home, I'm, why not? I'm locked up and I just, I need something to do, so I, yeah, we did well, this. Well, you did a great job. Hopefully you guys can be inspired by some of the ideas of how David kind of put this all together. It looks great, bro, can you sign us off? You know how we do it. We have the camera, hit the camera for us.